Check, check. Check, check. Check, 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 check,
check, check, check, check, check, check, check, check. So welcome to the uh, 29th annual Surrey RCMP Classic uh, Basketball Championships. We're just about ready for tip-off here. Taking the tip-off for both teams are number five from Kamanowis, Ekman, Sohal and number 13, Jackson Corneal. Your officials for tonight's game are Mr. Bal Ranu, Mr. Eric Kuntz, and Mr. Kelly Conrad. It'll be Tamanowis Ball in the front court here. We'll get a few things sorted out. We're trying to get this game underway here. And so far we've managed to get one tick off the clock. Right. 
And we get the ball in play. The ball's in the hands of number two, Varis Janda, and he passes off quickly to number six, Arben Dillon. Quickly up top to number five, Sohal. And Atwell's gonna take a double dribble there, and the ball's gonna get turned over. It's gonna be Lord Tweedsmere ball. Jackson Corneal hands in to Jade Reed, and he gets into the front court here. Jaden Reed off to Jason hands into Jackson Corneal down low to Jaden Reed. He's going to quickly get that uh, rebound there and drop it in for two. Dylan, Dylan bringing the ball up court. He quickly hands off to number two Janda, who then goes into number 23. Atwal and in the hands of number 20. Hey, good job! Kanan. Hey, good job. And it's going to be Tamanoa's ball down on the front court on the baseline there with five on the shot clock. Ball comes into Atwal. He takes a step back jumper and he drops the two down. He drops the two down for. Uh, with one second on the shot clock there. The ball is turned over. We got number six, Arvin Dillon bringing the ball up and he takes a step back jumper and he drops that in for two. Tamanowicz gets out to a 4-2 lead. Jaden Reed on the end, and he's going to go up and get fouled there. So Jaden Reed's going to go to the line for two shots. So Jaden Reed's going to go to the line and shoot two. Gonna miss, he's going to miss the first, and he's going to make the second. So with the score, Tamano is four, Panthers three. As number two, John to brings the ball up court. He hands to number 23, Atwal, back into the hands of Janda. And that's going to go off the rim with Jason Hands on the rebound. Carbonero Zandrex. On that miss, and Tamanos will come up with the ball on the rebound. Dylan hands off to number five, Sohal, and he drops that in for two. Scores Tamanos six, Panthers three. Quick pass up court intended for Jason Hans is deflected out of bounds by Tamanos. Into Jaden Reed. Tarn Shergill for three, and he's going to drop that down. And that pulls the score even. Balls in the hand of Sohal. He hands off to number two, Janda, being guarded closely by Cabernero Zandrex. That's an air ball by Tamanos. Quick pass up court to Jaden Reed, who quickly stops up. Now he's going to drive. Goes up, and that's uh, an errant shot there. Tamanos will bring it up court. Dylan, he's going to knock that down for three. Jason Hans for two. Jason Hans for two. 
both teams appear to be shooting uh, shooting fairly well today so far. Well, Dylan shoots that up, number five. Solhall on the rebound, but he can't put it down. Tweedsmere moves up court to Jason Hans, back to Jaden Reed. He's gonna drive and now uh, kick it out to Hans. Down low to Shergill. He's gonna put another three up. It's gonna rim out. As Tamanowis comes up court. And we're gonna have a foul on number 12, Carbonero Zandrex. And they'll put the ball on the side here. Coming in for Tamanowis, number 13, Riken Stovern. He checks into the game. So with one team foul apiece, Ball gets handed in up top to number six, Dylan. It's intercepted by number 11, Hans, quickly to Jaden Reed, who drives up court. He's gonna go up and he's gonna miss, but Hans is gonna pick up the rebound for two. Bohal off to Jonda, quickly to Stovern. He's gonna drive and then kick out to number 23, Atwal. Stovern drives and goes up, quick move inside for two. Shergill, quick jumper there. Just inside the free throw line for two more. Janda kicks it out. The number 23 Atwal and he drops a three down. Jackson Corneal brings ball up court for the Panthers. Quickly over to Shergill, back into Jackson. He's gonna go up, he's gonna miss. Jackson Corneal intercepts that pass. He's gonna drive all the way up and it's gonna be an offensive charge called on Jackson Corneal, the Panthers. So checking in for the game for Tamanowis, number seven, Siam Buda, and number 20, Tegbir Kanan. Dylan, Corneal on the rebound. He's gonna dribble out of trouble here. And now hand off to Karn Shergill, cross center. And now Corneal's gonna take it himself, kicking it out to Reed. He's gonna put a three up. He's gonna miss and into the hands of Tamanowis. Number six, Arben Dillon. Kanan shoots up a two, rims out into the hands of Jackson Corneal, who hands off to Jaden Reed coming up court as they cross center. Jason Hans for three, and that's gonna come up short. Corneal's gonna rebound it, and Shergill's gonna put up a three, and he's gonna miss that too. Corneal again on the rebound as he goes up, and he's gonna get fouled. They're gonna charge that. They're gonna charge that foul to number 20, Tejbir Kane. 
and checking into the game for uh, Tomanowas, number 11, Sabur Buda. And number 13, Reichen Stover. Corneal misses the first. And he's gonna make the second. And checking into the game for the Panthers is number two, LeGrand Mercado. He's gonna replace Carbonero Zandrex. So with 2.19 left in the first quarter, it's 14 for the Wildcats, 13 for the Panthers. Buda drives and misses. Panthers on that rebound. Corneal into Karn Shergill, out to Hans. He's gonna kick it to Jaden Reed. Back up top. Mercado Legrand, he gets blocked by number five, Ekman Sohal. It'll be Panthers ball on the baseline here. Checking back in for the uh, Wildcats is number two, Varis Janda. Shergill for three. Kanan over to number 11, Buddha. He's gonna take a drive again, and he's gonna lay that in for two. Puts that right around Hans. Corneal brings the ball up, crosses center. Hands off to Hans, in the back inside to Corneal again. He's gonna drive, lose the ball. I believe it's gonna go off of a Tamanoa's foot, not a bound. So the Panthers will retain possession with 15 left on the shot clock. Shergill out to Mercado Legrand. He's gonna put that up. It's gonna be rebounded by Reed out to Shergill again. And there he nails a three. And that's gonna knot this thing back up at 16 all again with one minute remaining in the first quarter. Buda drives again. Rebounded by Sohal. And we're gonna get no basket on that. We're gonna get a travel call against number two, Varis Janda. Be Panthers ball. Corneal skip pass to Legron Mercado, he's gonna step back and shoot a three and it's gonna go down, off the rim, backboard and in. <laughs> Buda, to Janda, he goes up, gets denied by Corneal. Number five, Solhall gets denied too. Ricardo Legrand comes down with it, and now it's brought up by Parn Shergill with eight seconds left in the quarter. Shergill's gonna put a long three up. And we're gonna have an offensive foul against number 13, Jackson Corneal. Panthers head coach Raj Bagri not happy with that foul against Jackson. Especially with 2.2 seconds left in the quarter. And a long way from the Panthers court. That was number six, Dylan, throwing up a long one from uh, inside a half. So at the end of the first quarter, we have a score of 19-16 for Lord Tweedsmere over the Wildcats. Just want to make mention that this is the 29th uh, year for the Surrey RCMP Classic. It started back in 1992. And it was held at Queen Elizabeth Secondary School. The semi Amu Totems, led by MVP Jake McCallum, defeated Frank Hurt in the final, 63-36. Uh, the individual stand tournament standout was Mike Wagner of Pacific Academy with a 20-point 28-point average. So 
obviously we're very thankful for the Surrey RCMP. They're involving in uh, high school sports within, uh, within Surrey. They provide uh, great opportunities for the kids in Surrey to, uh, to showcase their talents. So as we, start the, uh, as we start the second quarter, the Panthers are up 19-16. And Jason Hans and the Panthers will take over at center there. And the ball's thrown in to Jaden Reed. He hands to Karn Shergill, who drives. And he's going to get fouled. And that foul is going to get called against uh, number 20, Tejbir Kanan. Shergill's going to go to the line for two shots. It's a second personal foul on, uh, on Tejbir. Shergill misses the first. And Shergill's going to make the second. He goes one for two. It's going to be number six, Dylan, bringing the ball across center. Into the hands of Kane, and he's going to go and try and make a shot there. And it's quickly up court to Jaden Reed. Stops up, lays in the two. It's a nice pass from uh, Legrand Mercado from deep in Panther territory to set that two-point play up. In the hands of Janda. He goes to Kanan, back to Janda. Janda's gonna shoot one there, and it's gonna miss. Suk, Suk Raj Hare brings that ball down for the Panthers, and Jaden Reed crosses center into the hands of Jason Hans. He loses his glasses and manages to make the pass <laughs> to Jaden Reed. Ricardo Legrand into Souk Raj Hare. Ball gets blocked on the way up. The Wildcats bring it across center. Nice pass by number six, Dylan. Into, into Sohal for, a two, for the two point lay in. Legrand to Shergill to Reed who steps on the center line. It's going to be an over and back. So with 8.23 gone, 8.23 left in the second quarter, the score is Lord Tweedsmere 22, Tamanowicz 18. Dylan shoots a three. That was Arben Dylan with that three bomb. Karn Shilgo brings the ball up court, up to Legrand Merc Mercado. Jaden Reed driving, handing off to Sukraj Hare, and he lays that in from the baseline. Dillon crosses center for Tamanowicz. Inside to number five, Sohal. Sohal and Dillon. Sohal and Dillon just having a field day down low inside the key for the, pan for, for the Wildcats. Tweedsmere turns the ball over in the hands of Tamanowicz as they come up court in the hands of number seven, Buda. Over to Dillon, he's being guarded by Jaden Reed. And again, hand off to Sohal, doesn't go this time and Jackson Cornell comes down with it. He pushes up to Mercado Legrand. And that's promptly blocked by Sohal. Checking into the game for the uh, Wildcats is number 13, Stovern. Stovern. 
Dillon to Stovern. That's going to get tipped out of bounds by the Panthers, Jackson Corneal, with seven seconds on the shot clock. Dillon's going to inbound the ball, and he's going to, and he's going to get it in there to Atwal, who's going to drive, step back, and then go to Buda. Tamanowicz gets the rebound, gets a new 30, and Dillon's going to shoot a three which is gonna miss and rim out to Jackson Corneal, who hands off to Jason Hans, who brings it across center. Back to Corneal, over to Mercado. Corneal drives and he's gonna put the soft lay in. Jackson Corneal. That was Corneal for two. Sohal up top. He's going to hand off to Buda. And that's going to go off of Karn Shergill. We got number 20, Tejbir Kanan, checking back into the game. Coming out will be Atwal for the Tamanois. Coming into the game for the Panthers, number 12, Carbonero Zandrex. Shergill out. Up top to Stover, and he's going to back Legrand in. And he's going to go up with a fadeaway. It's going to miss, and Corneal comes down with it. He crosses center. It's going to go low to Reed, who's going to drive baseline, go with the reverse. It doesn't go, but Corneal's there to pick up that. And he makes a shot that doesn't go in. And Tamanowis comes up with the ball. That's going to be Tej Kynan for an easy three, uncontested. And we're knotted at 26 with five minutes left in the second quarter. LeGrand Mercado to Jaden Reed. Back to, Le back to Mercado. He's going to drive and get stripped. And that's going to go out of bounds with 13 left on the shot clock. Panthers ball down low on the baseline. Coming into the game for uh, the Wildcats, number two, Jonda, and number 23, Atwal. Atwal. We're going to get a foul called on that inbound. It's going to be a hold called against Atwal. So the Panthers will get the ball baseline again with 14 on the shot clock. Or 18 on the shot clock. And that ball's going to get inbound to Jaden Reed. Up to Zandrex. He's going to drive, and that's going to go. He's going to get the finger roll. Beautiful drive by Carbonero Zandrex. Wildcats cross center. Atwal to Janda. He's going to drive, and he's going to drop in. Shot for two. Corneal bringing the ball up court. Kicks it out to Zandrex, to Jaden Reed who drives. And he's going to drop. Oh, it's going to rim out. And Zandrex is going to take a, a foul there. So that foul is going to be called against what, number 12, Carbonero Zandrex. Checking into the game. Checking into the game for the Panthers is Karn Shergill, number one. And the first, the first time out of the game comes taken by Lord Tweedsmere. Just of note, this is uh, Lord Tweedsmere versus Tamanowis. Tamanowis, um, obviously, Miguel Tomley was a player uh, who averaged 40.5 points um, in 2018, Terrell Mayer of White Rock Christian uh, in, uh, in 2005 averaged 35.8 points. Most threes in a game, Miguel Tomley from Tamanois and Jordan Craig from White Rock Christian. And the most points scored 
by a team in a single game are the Lord Tweedsmere Panthers, 115 points in 2018, matching PA's total in 2017. So we come in uh, from the timeout, and it's going to be uh, knotted at 28 with 4.08 left in the second quarter as Tamanoas inbounds the ball and brings it up court. It's Kanan handing off to Atwal. That's going to be a two pointer by Dylan. It was inside the. Uh, it's a two pointer by Dylan inside the uh, three-point arc. Jaden Reed being pressured hard to Jason Hans who drives. He goes up, Corneal on the rebound and he goes up and lays it in for two. Atwal to Buda. He's being checked closely by Shergill. He hands off to number 20, Kanan. Hands back off to Buda. And Buda comes up short. And the Panthers get that rebound with Shergill bringing it up court. He's going to hand to Jason Hans, number 11. Then to Jaden Reed. Over to Shergill, who's going to take the three. And that's going to go down. As our friend Keith Hardup was saying, the big three right there from way outside the three point arc. Kanan shoots that inside the three arc and it misses. Jason Hans up court. He passes down to Carbonero Zandrex. Back out to Karn Shergill. Over to Hans, down to Reed. Back up to Shergill and he's gonna hit that three again. It's gonna, it's gonna miss up and Zandrex goes way up to get that. And it's gonna go off of Tamanoas and it'll be uh, Lord Tweedsmere ball on the baseline. Checking in for the Panthers is number five, Harsh Manon. In for uh, the Wildcats is Stovern, Sohal, and Buda. That's Simon Buda. And Shergill just hits a three again on that inbound. Sabor Buda can't control his dribble to the to the uh, to the hoop there, and we're gonna get a we're gonna get a sub by the Panthers. Number 32, Sukraj Hare checking in for number 13, Jackson Corneal. Panthers will inbound the ball with uh, just under two minutes to go, a minute 59 to be exact. Jaden Reed brings the ball up court and hands it to Shergill, who quickly goes down to Sukraj, over to Zandrex, and he's gonna drive, come inside to Hare, and he's gonna go up and miss. Get the rebound, he's gonna go up again and he's gonna get fouled. Great tenacity by Sukaraj Hare. And that foul's gonna get called against Sohal. And the Panthers are gonna take uh, their last time out of the half and um, It'll be Sukraj Hare going to the line to shoot two. Just want to make mention of our organizing committee. Uh, I want to thank Rick Inrig, Kevin DuBois, Nieder Dillon, obviously Corporal Sean Teichrub, Brian Tate, Mike Sweeney, Daniel Toe, Rob Rye, and Greg Reed for the tremendous effort that they put forth uh, getting this tournament ready. It's a, it's a year-long commitment by these gentlemen and obviously the Surrey RCMP and our senior staff and administration at the Surrey School Districts as well who all take part. Um, it's just a, a tremendous undertaking and it was obviously an even bigger undertaking this week with the snow day on Wednesday which cancelled a number of games and we had to re, re, uh, reschedule a bunch of games that had to be played during the day on Thursday and just want to thank all those schools that opened their gyms up during the day to get those games in so that we could get back on schedule for tonight. 
which sees obviously the Panthers and the Wildcats facing off in the Surrey RCMP Senior Boys Basketball Classic Championship. Sukraj hair to the line. And he's gonna knock down the first of two. He's gonna come up short on the second one. Tamanowis comes down with the ball. It's gonna be Buda bringing the ball up court. Over to Kynan who drives. And he's gonna kick that back out to uh, Siam Buda. And he's gonna go up for a shot. And that's gonna go down. He shoots that over Karn Shergill. Reed cross the center. Over to Manon, who goes to Carbonero Zandrex, who's gonna drive, hand off to Sukraj Hare, who's gonna put the ball down on the court again. And they're gonna call a travel on that. Sabor Buda brings the ball across center for the Wildcats. And he's gonna step and take a three that's gonna rim out. Harshman on coming down with that rebound and Reed quickly across center with the ball. He's gonna drive all the way and it's gonna get blocked. But Zandrex comes down, Shergill, and it's gonna rim out. Buda comes down with that rebound and Tamanowis crosses center. Stovern for three. And Reed's going to get that rebound and bring the ball slowly up across uh, center with 21 seconds left in the quarter. Tweedsmere's going to play for the last shot on this. Reed to Manon, and he's going to shoot that, and that's going to airmail over the rim. And with four seconds left, Kynan's going to take a shot from way outside the three arc with two seconds left and that's going to end the half with the Panthers up 37 to 32. We're going to take a short break uh, be a 10 minute uh, halftime here and we're going to um, we'll be back very shortly when we come back when we come back to the third quarter the second half we're going to have Tamanowis ball coming in
All right, uh, we're here with uh, Corporal L. Sturko, the Surrey RCMP, and she's been involved with this uh, tournament the last couple of years. So, obviously, what does this tournament mean to the RCMP uh, in Surrey and, and, and just, you know, basketball in general, so within, the, within our communities? Uh, well, it's a tremendous opportunity to get together with teachers and especially the students, um, the players, the athletes that are involved in this tournament. For us, we see a lot of the kids... Uh, every single day with our youth officers that are in schools, but we don't get to share this kind of excitement the same way that we do in the tournament. I mean, the level of athleticism, and you can see tonight how many students, parents, community members are just here cheering each other on. So for us being a part of something like this is just tremendous. Yeah, I think obviously the camera angle, we can't see the crowd, but we do have a packed house here tonight as we usually do for this tournament. Um, obviously, um, not here tonight, but I know, I, I believe he's watching back. Uh, Norm Massey is in Ontario, I believe, watching. So we'll say hi to Norm. But uh, obviously this was a major undertaking that he helped start. And um, and obviously we love having the Surrey RCMP involved. And, you know, we obviously have a lot of our liaisons in the schools as well. And it's nice to see a lot of them out here. And, and how maybe tell us how your members feel about this, this tournament as well and what it kind of allows them to ha interact with, with, our, with, our, with our students. Well, we look forward to it all year. Just in the couple of last two years that I've been here and coming to the tournament, I can tell you that it's something that from the day it's over to the very next time it starts, our members are talking about it. It's something that we look forward to. There's a lot of um, rivalry, too, between the coaches and teachers and our RCMP officers. So, I mean, you know what? It's one of those things we talk about, the public safety aspect of it, which is a big part of it because, you know, we're helping support you know, our youth doing something that's actually very positive. They're becoming role models within their school, leaders within their school. But even more than that, um, it's more than a professional relationship. It's a friendship and really getting a chance to see even over from one year to the next, how some of the players and students have evolved in their game. It's really rewarding and it's, I'm, I feel a lot of pride in coming and in being involved with the school. We will mention that the uh, Surrey RCMP did win the annual sure did, yeah. coaches versus the coaches and uh, I guess you want to call it alumni now because I think some of our coaches are getting a little older so we've called a few alumni in to try and get that uh, coveted uh, coaches uh, RCMP trophy back but the RCMP uh, uh, did come down today and won that game I don't know what the score was I, I forget I was close you know what I was here for the whole game and it was just just like this game back and forth a couple points so I think the final score was something like 58-52 or something okay, like that. So obviously so close game. It was a close game. Yeah. It's getting a bit chippy there it, for a while too. I was it, like, it always gets intense when right? you get when you intense. get them out in the court, you know, and they get the little competition, <laughs> not unlike what you see out here in the final, right? So yeah, it's good. congratulations to the uh, Surrey RCMP on their uh, on their victory this afternoon, and um, we got about two minutes left in uh, the half here, and we'll just thank uh, Corporal L. Sturko for just coming here yeah, and uh, no, talking to us about me. the Surrey RCMP tournament. and the basketball and. Uh, Obviously, we're going to look forward to seeing the Surrey RC. That's the Surrey RCMP back here next year. Can't wait. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. So we're here with um, school trustee Lorraine McNally, who's a, been a fixture at this uh, the Surrey RCMP Basketball Classic for a long time now. Um, maybe just tell us what the tournament means to the, the school board and the trustees as a whole and what, what the Surrey RCMP Basketball Classic means to you. 
Well, I've been involved in it since it, its inception and watched it grow. And originally, uh, it began because we were trying to foster a better relationship between the students and the RCMP. And I think it's been a, a wonderful success in yeah. that regard. Awesome. So obviously, um, it was a tough one today. You lost the coaches game and the RCMP game. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we have to get back to the uh, okay. second half. So thank you, school trustee Lorraine You're McNally. You're welcome. Appreciate Here, it. So as we're going to start the second half of the game here, it's 37 to 32 for the Panthers. Wildcat ball to begin the third. And the Wildcats uh, bring it up, uh, up court here. Into the hands of Janda. He's going to hand off to Dylan, who's being guarded by number one, Shergill, from the Panthers. And Dylan's going to, Dylan's going to nail the three there. Shergill to Corneal for two. Dylan back across center. To Sohal, then back out to uh, Janda, who misses the three. Corneal passes off to Shergill. Sandrex attempted a shot that was tipped out of bounds by Tamanowis. And uh, that's going to be Tweedsmere ball just on the baseline. It's going to go to Shergill. It's going to go out to Jaden Reed, number three. He's going to take his time up top to set things up. Now he's going to drive and he's going to kick out to Jason Hans for three. And it's going to rim out into the hands of number six, Dylan, who quickly crosses center. Kanan's going to take a long three that's going to rim out as well, and it's going to be quickly rebounded by Shergill up to Jason Hans, into Jaden Reed, inside to Corneal, back out to Zandrex, who's going to send a floater up, and it's going to go down. Ball's in the hand of Dylan up top. He's going to kick it out to Buda, who looks at a three and then goes inside to Sohal, who fumbles it, but then kicks it out to Dylan, who nails a three. Corneal, he gets stripped. The Panthers will retain the ball. And they will hand in from the baseline. Shergill into Corneal. He's going to shoot that from outside for three. Dylan into Buddha. Back to Dylan, who try, attempts a three, but then thinks otherwise, and then kicks it out to number 20, Kynan, who shoots a three that rims out to Corneal. He crosses center and hands off to Jaden Reed. Down low to Zandrex, into Corneal, a high pass, and then throwing out of bounds by Tamanois, errantly, and it'll be 18 on the shot clock for the Panthers. Shergill to Hans, he's going to shoot a three 
It's going to come up short. It's going to bounce off its man to his knee. And then Shergill's going to look for a three. Hans with the rebound into Corneal's hands. Bit of sloppy basketball right now by both teams. Corneal's going to drive and he's going to get fouled. And that foul is going to get charged to Siam Buddha, number seven from Tamanois. It's going to go baseline to the Panthers. And then Stovern's going to check into the game along with Jonda. That'll be kind in and out while checking out for the Wildcats. Shergill skip pass hard to Jaden Reed up top. Down to Jason Hans. He's going to drive hard, go up, and it's going to go in. And he's going to get fouled as well. He's going to get an opportunity for the three point play here. And Tamanos is going to call a timeout with Jason Hans going to the line for one shot. So the foul was called on five black. So the score right now is 46 to 38 in favor of Lord Tweedsmere. Just a couple of other, uh, just a couple of other little informational tidbits. Last uh, three years, the RCMP Classic MVP, 2019, it was Dominic Calderon from Semiamu, Miguel Tomley from Tamanos in 2018, Brian Wallach from Semiamu in 2017. Miguel Tomley was the MVP in 2016 as a Grade Nine student. Uh, pretty impressive stuff. So as we come back from the uh, Tamanos timeout. Jason Hans is going to go to the line for one shot after he uh, was fouled on his original shot. And he makes it. And he makes it a three point play to put the Panthers up 47 38 by nine. Ball's in the hands of Stovern. He goes to Dillon. It's kicked out to. See, that was. Uh, Janda that took that shot that rimmed out. Goes up to Reed quickly. Jaden Reed's going to drive and go up, and he's going to get fouled. And he's going to go to the line for two. So that foul is going to be on number five, Sohal. And we're going to have number 23, Kanan, and sorry, Atwal, and number 20, Kanan, check into the game for Jonda and Sohal. That's going to be the fourth personal foul on Sohal with six minutes left in the third quarter. Jaden Reed misses the first of two. And he's going to make the second. That's going to put the Panthers up by 10 with six minutes left in the third quarter. Dillon's gonna bring the ball up court for the Wildcats. And he's gonna shoot a three, which is gonna rim out and go out of bounds. Panthers ball. Corneal hands to Jaden Reed who quickly crosses center. He's going to pass to Corneal. He's going to go down low to Zandrex. He's going to kick it to Hans, and he's going to go in. He's going to miss, but Corneal comes up with it. Again, and it's going to go. Corneal lays in the rebound on the second attempt. And the Panthers have extended it to a 12 with 519 left in the uh, third quarter. Buda for three, misses. Hans up to Corneal. Jaden Reed up top now with the ball. He's going to kick it out to Shergill. Corneal skip pass to Hans. He's going to drive to Corneal. 
And he's going to get fouled driving to the rim. And that foul is going to be charged to number 20, Tejbir Kanan. And that's going to be the fourth team foul with 4.53. We have subs here for the Panthers. Number 32, Sukraj Hare is going to check into the game for Jackson Corneal. And the team fouls are four for Tamanowis and zero for the Panthers. Karn Shergirl to Zandrex. To Hans. Down to Ra Sukraj Hare. Zandrex is going to drive, go up, and he's going to lay that in. And the lead's been extended to 14 now. The Panthers are starting to leg it out a little bit here on the Wildcats. Atwal up top. Buda, oh, Buda's going to drive and kick that back out. And Stovern's going to nail a three. To get the Wildcats back to within 11. But Jaden Reed goes up and he misses, but Sukraj Hare on that rebound. And he's going to fall back. And we have an injury on the court to Sukraj Hare. And he will come out of the game due to injury. Referee hands off to Stover, who then promptly gives it in the hands of Dylan. He crosses center cautiously. Out to Stover again. His three attempts going to rim out, but it's going to rattle around a couple of Panther hands there and end up in the hands of Tamanowis again. And we're going to get a foul charged to the Panthers against number one, Shergill. Dylan for three, and it's going to hit the rim and come be brought down by Corneal. Jaden Reed crosses center. Jason Hans out to Corneal. He's going to get it out to Shergill. Corneal's going to drive and step up and shoot that and come up short. Tamanowis gets the ball, gets into the hands of uh, Jonda, who promptly gets it to Dylan, who drives and kicks it out to to Jonda, and then to number 23, Atwal, who shoots a three but misses. Jaden Reed cross center. Jackson Corneal from the free throw line for two. That'll extend the lead back to, back to uh, that'll put the lead at 15 now for the Panthers with 2.48 to go in the third quarter. Dylan on the drive, rebounded by Hans into the hands of uh, Corneal, up to Shergill, and then to Jaden Reed up top. Down low to Zandrex, who's going to shoot a short two, and he's going to come up short there. It's going to be 20. Kanan for a three. Misses and Jackson Corneal down with the rebound into the hands of Jason Hans up top to Jaden Reed. Jaden Reed's going to drive and he's going to miss that lay in. Rebounded by number 23, Atwal, into the hands of number six, Dylan. Down to Stovern. He's going to drive on Corneal and he's going to get that lay in for two. Corneal hands in to Shergill, brings it up court. Corneal cautiously cross center with the ball. He'll give off to Jaden Reed at the top. And the Panthers will set up. Into Shergill, back inside to Jackson Corneal. He's going to drive and he's going to go and it's not going to go. 
Panthers have come up dry the last two times down, down the court here. Dylan's going to shoot a three. It's going to miss, and Zandrex is going to get that. Jaden Reed's going to attack the rim. And he's going to go in. A lot of contact there. And no foul. And that's going to get blocked by Corneal. Shergill comes up with that rebound. Shergill's going to cross center into Jaden Reed up top to Jackson Corneal. Jaden Reed, and we're going to get a foul called. Panthers are going to go to the line for two. And that foul is going to be on number six, Arben Dillon, number six. So Tomano's going to take a timeout. Checking back into the game for the Panthers on the timeout is number two, Legrand Mercado, and number 32, Sukraj Hare. So we have a 56 43 score in favor of the Panthers with um, Jaden Reed headed to the line when we come back after the timeout. The RCMP tournament uh, comes at a time when teams are really gearing up for their uh, the final push of the regular season and they get ready for the playoffs and a lot of the teams in Surrey here, there's a lot of contending teams at the AAA and Quad A uh, levels that have a chance to obviously get into the big dances at their respective levels. Uh, the Guilford Park Sabres are one team at the AAA level that has a great opportunity to get into the AAA Provincials. And of course you have the Lord Tweedsmere Panthers and uh, the Fleetwood Park Dragons that have a good, and Tamanos Wildcats that have a good opportunity to represent Surrey in the Quad A Finals as well. So Jaden Reed to the line for two. And he's going to miss the first. And he's going to miss the second, but Legrand comes down with it. And it's going to rim out. Touch blast by Tamanoas. It's going to be uh, Panthers ball on the baseline. Shergill to inbound it. And he's going to throw it deep and long to Legrand Mercado. Shergill's going to try a long three that rims off the rim short. Tomanowicz comes up with the ball into the hands of Stovern. And now up top to number 11, Sabor Buda. And he's going to set up. They're going to skip it down to Stovern. He's going to drive and put it into the hands of uh, Atwal, back to Stovern, into Atwal, back to Stovern. Stovern's going to drive and he's going to rim out. Jason Hans with the long bomb and that's going to come up short. So at the end of the third quarter, the score, the Panthers 56, the Wildcats 43. We're going to take a short break. So after the timeout, the Panthers take the ball up top in the hands of Jason Hans to Shergill. He's going to drive and it's going to go down. And he's going to chance for a three point play.
And that foul's gonna be charged to number 11, Sabor Buda. And Shergill's gonna go to the line for one. Of note, um, Lord Tweedsmere's starting guard, Josh Hamulus, is not even playing today. He's due to sickness. Um, so obviously a number of the other Panthers on the bench there stepping up into his role a little bit, but obviously a great team effort here so far. That ball rims out into the hands of Jaden Reed. Jackson Corneal up top. He's going to kick it out to Hans. Back up to Corneal. He's going to shoot that. That's going to rim out. And ooh, we're going to get a foul called against the Panthers. And that foul is going to get charged to number 11, Jason Hans. Checking back into the game for the Wildcats is going to be number uh, 20, Tejbir Kanan, and number 6. Arben Dillon with 9.13 remaining in the fourth quarter. It's 58 to 43 for the Panthers. It's Siam Buda with the ball into Sohal, back out to Buda. He's gonna kick it over to Dillon. Into the hands of uh, Janda, who's gonna drive, get his own rebound off the block, and now we're gonna get a foul. And that foul was charged to number 11, Jason Hans. That's his second personal foul of the game, second team foul of the quarter for the Panthers. Buddha to Dillon. He's being guarded tightly by Jaden Reed. Comes inside to Buddha, who being guarded by Corneal, he steps back, and that ball gets rebounded by Tamanois, and Buddha's kind of trapped in the corner there by Mercado Legrand and number 11, Jason Hans. He's able to get it out to Dillon, though, and kicks it over to Kanan. We're gonna have a push. There's gonna be no basket on the play. And that foul's gonna get charged to number 13, Jackson Corneal. And that's the third team foul against the Panthers, and that's the third personal against the uh, against Corneal. Checking into the game for the Panthers, number five, Harshman on. Kanan comes up short, Corneal rebounds that. Jaden Reed up top. Shergill for a deep three, and it's gonna rim out, but the Panthers come up with the ball on that rebound, and now we're gonna get a foul called, and that's gonna be, that's gonna be, that's gonna be charged to number five, Sohal. That's gonna be, that's gonna be his, that's going to be his fifth foul of the game, and he's going to be disqualified. And the Panthers will take the ball on the baseline. Manon into Corneal. Corneal steps around, and it's going to drop in for two. He shoots that over top of number 23, Atwal. It's into the hands of Dylan up top. He's going to drive and kick it out to Janda, who lays a floater up and misses, but rebounded by number 23, Atwal. Three point by Kanan. That goes down. That foul's going to get charged to number 23, Atwal. The 
Jackson Corneal will inbound to number three, Jaden Reed. Out to Manon, who's gonna drive, and he's gonna go for the easy lay-in off the backboard for two. That'll stretch the score to 62-46 for the Panthers with 6.53 remaining in the fourth quarter. There's a three-pointer put up by Kanan, rebounded by number six, Dylan, and back into the hands of Kanan, and tipped out of bounds by number 11, Jason Hans. So with 23 on the shot clock, Tomanos will inbound the ball just in front of their bench. Ball gets inbounded by Dylan to Buda. He's up top. John to driving. Kicks it out to Buda. And that's going to go to Kanan, and he's going to shoot a three, and that's going to rim out. And Janda's going to pick that up and cruise on through the key. Buda for three. And Corneal's going to come down with that rebound. Get into the hands of Jaden Reed. Reed to Corneal. Corneal's going to drive, and he's going to go up. And they're going to call offensive foul on that. Coming in for the Panthers, number 32, Sukraj Hare, is going to replace number 13, Corneal. And that's about all the subs the Panthers are going to make. Balls in the hands of Harshman on. And it's going to go to Mercado Legrand. Or Legrand Mercado. That ball's going to get picked off by Tamanoas, an errant pass by number three, Jaden Reed. It's in the hands of Dylan right now, who's going to stop and shoot a three. And that's going to drop down. Tamanoas fighting back. 62 51 Panthers. It's an 11 point lead. It's okay. So we're going to shh. We're going to have subs come in for the Panthers. Number 13 is going to come in. Shergill is going to step into the game as well for Legrand Mercado. So at the score is 62 51. For the Panthers, they're going to inbound the ball. Both teams are going to be in penalty on their next team fouls. Jaden Reed kicks it to Shergill. Jackson Corneal's going to take a three. It's going to hit the rim and get rebounded by number six. Dylan, who's going to come up court and kick it down low to Bata, who's going to step inside of Jason Hans. Out to number 20, Kanan. And he's going to drop a three. And that's going to tighten the score up even more. It's going to make it an eight point lead 62 54. Tomanos has turned up their defense here. Out to Hans, he's gonna drive. He's gonna go up. And they're gonna call a block on Tomanos here. Hans is gonna go to the line for two. The fans don't like that call. Horn. So uh, Carbonero Zandrex is going to check in for number five, Harshman on. Jason Hans is going to shoot two. And that's going to miss. The crowd's really into this one now, as things are now heating up. And Hans nails down the second shot of two to make it 63-54 for the Panthers. 4.15 left in the fourth quarter. Dylan across center. Inside to Atwal. And there's going to be a three knocked down by Kanan. 63-57. Carbonero Zandrex. And we're going to get a foul. And uh, 
So that foul is going to get charged to number 20, Tejbir Kanan. It's going to be his fourth personal. And um, it was on number 20. And so Tweedsmere takes a timeout. The score is 63-57 for the Panthers. And I believe that Carbonero Zandrex is going to go to the line All right, we got another, uh, number after the timeout. So Zandrex will go to the line here uh, once it, back in from the timeout. So earlier in the day, the uh, the Fleetwood Park Dragons beat the Guilford Park Sabres to finish third. This will be Carbonero Zandrex shooting one of two, and that's going to go down. So he makes the first. He makes eight. And he's going to miss the second one. And we're going to get a foul called against the Panthers. And that foul is going to go against LeGrand Mercado. And Tomanos is going to go to the line for two. So with 3.52 left in the fourth quarter, both teams are in the penalty. This is going to be a long four minutes, I think. With the way both teams have stepped up their defense, John is going to shoot the first of two, and he's going to make it. As he gets ready to shoot the second, and it's going to go down. So we got a five-point game now as Tamanoas softly presses as they come up the court. Carbonero Zandrex with the ball. He's going to drive. And he's going to miss the easy lay-in. And it's going to be rebounded by number 23. I believe that was Outwall, who hands off to Dillon, who then promptly goes to number 7, Bata. Back to Outwall. Into the hands of Janda. Back out to Outwall. And it's going to rim out. Zandrix comes up with that rebound. Mercado Legrand comes up court with the ball. He's going to drive, and he's going to get called for a charge. So Mercado Legrand gets his first personal. So checking in for... LeGrand Mercado is going to be number five, Harshman on. So with a five-point lead, Tamanos crosses center. Tamanos has kind of taken over this game in the last two or three minutes with their defense. And some untimely fouls by the Panthers. Buda, step back. And Corneal's going to rebound that. And he's going to dribble out, handing off to Jason Hans, up to, over to, over to Reed, out to Harshman on. He's going to drive, and it's going to go up, and he's going to miss. Looks like the refs are going to leave this in the hands of the players now with 2.32 to go. Dylan comes up, and now we're going to get a foul. So, fouls called on number three, Jaden Reed. And number 23, Atwell, will go to the line for two. Atwell's going to miss the first. And he's going to make the second. 
So we got a four point ball game, folks, with 2.27 to go. Corneal up to Reed. He's going to cross center. Reed up to, up to Corneal. Corneal's going to drive out to Reed. He's going to drive hard under Corneal. He's going to go up and it's going to miss. Tamanoas is going to come down with the ball. Dillon coming up with the ball crosses center. Driving, and it's going to be blocked by Corneal. Harshman on coming up with that ball. And he's going to turn it over, and he's going to promptly foul. Number seven, Buddha. So Harshman on is going to be subbed out in favor of number two, Legrand Mercado. And that's going to put Buddha on the line. And he's going to miss the first of two. Tamanos is going to leave the second shot uncontested. And he's going to make it. So now we got a one possession game, a three point game. 64 61. Panthers with a minute 37 to go. Corneal to Legrand. Oh boy. And he skips that. And that ball's going to go out of bounds. So that foul is going to be called on 13 White. That's going to be his fifth foul, a disqualifying foul. So Jackson Corneal fouls out of the game with 126 to go. And number six, Dylan's going to go to the line for two. And he's going to miss. Tamanos is going to go uncontested on this, and it's going to go down. So the two-point game now, 64-62, a minute 26 to go. The Panthers are going to do this without Corneal, as also Tamanos is going to have to play, obviously, without Sohal. Carbonero Zandrex stripped again, and that ball is going to get turned over. And Tomanos is going to come up the court with a chance to tie or take the lead. And John is going to get fouled. And Tweedsmere is going to take a timeout. And when we come back, Dylan will go to the line for two shots with a minute two to go. So what was once a 14 point lead with about five minutes to go has turned into a two point lead with Tamanois headed to the line with a chance to tie the game. This is going to be an exciting finish here at the end here. This tournament usually has a close final, so we expected nothing less than that, obviously. Um, obviously, both teams missing two key players in the last uh, minute, minute and two seconds with Corneal fouling out for the Panthers and Sohal fouling out for the Wildcats. So again, Jonda's going to go to the line here. So each team has one timeout left with a minute two to go. John to the line for the first of two. Tamanoas is going to not contest these two shots, I believe. So John is going to make that. And this shot will be for the tie. And he scores it. So, with a minute two to go, it's all tied up, 64-64. In 
into the hands of Jaden Reed. Up top being guarded by Buddha. He goes up and it goes in for two. So the clock failed to stop on the uh, ensuing basket. It has to stop in under two minutes. So they're going to make the, make the clock 46.9 seconds. So it's 46 seconds left. Tamano's going to bring the ball up, hand it into Dillon here as he's going to cross center. Dylan being watched closely by Jason Hans. He hands to number 23, Otwal, back to Jonda. And it's going to get rebounded by Jaden Reed. And Shergill comes up with it. And it's going to go off a Tamanoas player. So if 10.2 seconds left. The Panthers are going to take a timeout. They're going to get a chance to inbound the ball up top with a two-point lead for a chance to win their first senior RCMP Basketball Classic Championship. The Panthers won the 2017 Junior Championship but have not won a senior championship. So this would be a first for Lord Tweedsmere's senior team. So I would expect on the inbound that we would see a quick foul from Tamanowis to put Tweedsmere to the line. We'll see what uh, Coach Raj Bagri of the Panthers draws up for this play. Should be an exciting finish at the end here. We'll see what happens. It's going to be close. I mean, unbelievable. This was a 14-point lead at one point with four or five minutes to go and then it turned into a tie game with a minute two to go. The Panthers back up by two with 10.2 seconds left. So with no timeouts left for the Panthers, they're gonna inbound the ball up top. The Manos Wildcats are coached by Manny Dulay. The assistant coach is Harleen Dulé and Jay Sadu. The Panthers coaches Harp Gill and head coach Raj Bagri. Gill to Reed. He's going to foul Reed. He's going to go to the line with four with 3.8 seconds left. So with 3.8 seconds left in the game, Jaden Reed goes to the line. And he's going to miss the first one. Jaden Reed makes it. So it's going to be a three point lead. Tamanoas will take its final time out. And they'll inbound the ball up top with a chance at best to tie the game. What a finish we have here. So both teams out of timeouts, both teams in the penalty. Score 67-64 for the Panthers. Just wanna say the referees have put this game in the hands of the players and the players have really kind of fought through a little bit of chaos that occurred in the last two to three minutes of the game to really kind of take control of this themselves. I would expect Lord Tweedsmere to possibly foul right away and put put him on the line maybe with three seconds left. But we'll see what uh, we'll see what uh, the Tamanowis, what Manny Dulay draws up. Coach Raj Bagri's been a coach at Lord Tweezer since 2001. Very dedicated head coach here. Um, has been a varsity coach, a junior coach, and uh, puts a lot of time and effort in it. Just as much as I'm sure Harleen and Manny Dulé, Jay Sadu put into uh, their efforts at Tamanoas.
Ball gets put into Dillon. He's gonna shoot, it gets blocked. And it gets hooked up, and that's it. The Lord Tweedsmere Panthers have won their first Senior Varsity RCMP Basketball Classic by a score of 67 to 64 over the Tamanoas Wildcats. It was a great team effort by all involved. Congratulations to Coach Raj Bagri, Harp Gill, and the rest of the Lord Tweedsmere Panthers on a tremendous Surrey RCMP basketball tournament. What a great game we had here. Both teams showing what kind of powerhouses they both are in basketball this year. Expect to see, expect to see those two teams battling it out in the South Fraser championships with the right to go to, with the right to go to the Quad A Provincials. Just want to make a mention and thank uh, obviously the organizing committee again and everyone involved with the tournament. Tremendous effort by both players, coaches, senior, senior administration at the Surrey School District and of course the Surrey RCMP who does such a fabulous job uh, with this tournament. We're gonna sit back and uh, just let you enjoy the, uh, the, uh, the festivities here. Wanna thank everyone for tuning in today and watching our feed. Hopefully we get to do more of this. It's uh, really exciting uh, to be able to bring this to you via the internet. Um, hopefully Norm Massey, you're still watching in Toronto, wherever you are. Um, but anyway, enjoy. Congratulations again to the Lord Tweedsmere Panthers on their first Surrey RCMP Basketball Classic Championship.
Congratulations to the us. Let's go forward to the president of the North City, the Surrey School District. Who will present this year's championship trophy and banner at the senior level for the first time in school history goes to the Lord Peter Patrick. We will also now receive their first place trophies for each individual player. Congratulations, this year's champion, Lawrence T. Jerry Patrick. At the uh, conclusion of our award ceremony, we will have an official photo taken of the Peter Panthers that I sent to Jim. Any parents or family, please wait until we get our official photo now before you come out of the floor and take your own pictures. But we'll move on to some. Uh, one more team award and some individual awards at the end. We'll do an official photo before uh, we ask the fans and family to come out. I'm going to call forward Lorraine McNally. Lorraine McNally, 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 Thank you. 
Representing number three tonight is the principal Michael Patrick and athletic director Greg Reed. Our first of the individual awards is the most inspirational player, which will be presented by Assistant Superintendent Andrew Holland. I think we know not here. This year's most inspirational player is from Elgin Park, Thomas Olson. We will recognize our second team all-star, all-stars, and they will be presented by Superintendent Dr. Jordan Tinney. We're going to call the members of the second team all-stars. Come on down, please wait until we have all of the members of the team down and we'll do a group photo. The first uh, member of the second team all-star is the very number two, Marcellus Lennon. Number 12, Jordan Gerrard. From Seniavu, number 35, Hamza Sahi. Number four, Josh Hanulis. From Gilbert Carter, 
Thank you. 